Hey guys, it's Lisa from TwoCreatorWebsite.com. Well, it's been three months, so you know what that means. It's time for another YouTube layout change. <laughs> At least it seems like it's every three months. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a channel banner for the new layout. Okay, so first off, I wanna give a shout out to Karen Cavett. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. She offered a free Photoshop PSD file for you to download so you can have like a, um, guideline for designing your image. I believe YouTube offered a similar guide or something like that, but I happened to use her file. So I wanted to give her a shout out and I'll put the link to this download in the description. So what you're going to do is open up her file and here's the PSD image. And as I said, it gives you a guide for designing. So this light blue area, this is the desktop minimum and mobile graphic area. So Basically, anything in here will be shown on mobile devices, desktops, tablets, everything. So it's important to make sure your main logo, your main image, all that stuff is in this area because it'll be seen on every single device, phones, tablets, and desktops. So this area here, this is for the tablet width. So anything from here all the way to this other darker blue side will be displayed on tablets. So let's say you put an image out here Desktops and tablets will see it, but mobile phones won't see it. So that's what these blue lines are for to kind of give you a guideline. And the white area around here, this is for TVs. So more and more people are starting to use apps or whatnot to view YouTube on their TV. So they will see this entire image. Now this PSD was developed so you can assign a different background to each section. So if you want the tablet width to have a slightly different background than the desktop minimum, you can do that. But for the sake of simplicity in this video, I'm going to make the entire image have the same background. Oh, but first I forgot to mention this square here, this is your profile image. So you don't want to put anything in this area because it will bleed into your profile image. And this is where your social links and your website will go. So let's take a look at my banner. So here's my profile image here, and here's my website, and here are my social icons. I believe this is this area is only for full partners or whatever you call us now. We always have different names because I notice not everybody has this here. So just FYI. Okay, so let's get to designing. Now, by the end of this video, even if you've never used Photoshop, you're gonna know how to use Photoshop. And I'm gonna try to break this down and make this as easy as possible to understand. Photoshop is really not difficult to learn. Once you understand, it's all about the layers. So for example, all the text that's here, you obviously don't want that in your image. So you just come over here and see this little eye icon, you just click it and it'll turn off the text, which is the top layer. We don't want that obviously in our image. We want to leave our profile photo on because we want to make sure our text or image doesn't run into this area. And the same thing goes down here with the website and social links. Now, because we want all of this image to have the same background, we need to merge the layers together. Okay. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click all of these areas. Now, if you want, different parts of your image to have different backgrounds, then you won't do this step. But as I said earlier, we want this image to have the same background in all the areas. So I'm holding down the control key and clicking basically every section. I'm going to right click and say merge layers. So now whatever background I assign to this area, it'll go for this area and this area and so forth. Okay, so if you look at my image, if you'll notice, I have sort of like a textured background. You can see the little grains there. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that in Photoshop. All right, so let's add a background to this image. So we're going to select any one of the layers here. Let's just choose the desktop minimum. And we're gonna say blending options. And we're gonna select pattern. And just like that, you can see the pattern come through. So we can choose whatever pattern we want. Let's go, let's choose that one. Now, if you want to give it a slight color, you're gonna choose the color overlay. Now see, it just overtook my entire pattern because it's on top of that layer. So how to adjust for that is you grab your opacity slider here and just slowly drag it until you see the pattern coming through. 
See that? And if you want to change the color, you just click this swap here. And then let's say you want it to be blue. Then you click the blue swatch and then whatever hue you want. So click OK. OK. And just like that, now we have a textured background. OK, now let's add some text. So we're going to come over here to the text tool. Make sure you select that. We're going to click here and we're just going to put my channel name. So we're going to do control A and come up here to the color swatch, click it, and then you can choose, you know, a different color if you want, but we'll just leave that as yellow for now. Click the check. Now come over here to the move tool up here and now you can move this wherever you want. Now it's kind of small, so I'm going to hit control T, hold down the shift key and just drag until it gets bigger. Come back up, hit the check, move tool, and move it wherever you want. Now, one thing you have to remember is that YouTube is going to size this image down. So you don't want your text to be too terribly small. Otherwise, it won't be legible in your banner. So try to avoid the really, really tiny text. Okay, so let's move this channel name up here a little bit because we're going to put a picture over here. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys to move that around. Now, if you're going to put a picture on your channel, it's better to take a picture of yourself with a nice clean background because it's easier to remove the background in Photoshop when you've got something smooth. Now I'm standing in front of my green screen and I did that on purpose because with Photoshop, it's much easier to remove that background. And let me show you how to do that. So you're going to come over here to the eraser. And you're going to hold it down and select the magic eraser tool. Now watch this. I'm just going to click in the green area and it gets rid of the green just like that. Now there's some areas like down here where it missed. What I'll have to do is come over here and grab the eraser tool and then, you know, clean up some of these areas. But um, this is a much easier way than trying to get rid of a background that's very detailed. So when you're done with that, you're just going to grab the move tool, which is up here. And we're going to drag this into our project. So I'm just going to pick myself up and just drag it right there. Now I'm way too big. <laughs> so we're going to do control T, hold down the shift key until I'm the size that I need to be. Hit the check, grab the move tool, and you just keep sizing yourself down until you fit within the frame. So kind of like that. So we want to grab the channel title because everything's kind of out of whack. Make sure you select the my channel name layer and then you can move that, you know, wherever you need to move it. So, so basically the title is way too big. So we really need to size this down. Now you guys are looking at this at 33%. It's actually much bigger than this, but because the file is so big, I had to, you know, shrink it down a little bit. So you can put your, your title here, you can put a tagline here. So let me zoom in so you can see how big this actually is. This is the full size. So you can add some text here and do some other things if you wish, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna stop there. So in order to have the best quality, because as I said, YouTube will size this down and you will lose some of the quality, it's better to save this as a PNG file. So when you go to file, save for web, you're going to choose PNG hyphen 24. That's what I saved mine as, which is a high quality PNG file. And you won't lose as much quality with this file. So you go to your channel. First, you'll need to, you know, make sure you switch over to the new design if you haven't yet. And then you're going to click on this little pencil. Now select edit channel art. And then YouTube will prompt you to upload that photo and you're done. Now, for those of you guys who have access to change these links here, or if you have links on your channel, you would edit these by going to edit links. So this will bring you to a page and you can actually add more icons. So you can add up to four. So for example, if I want to add my Zazzle store, which is really, really cool. I'm so glad they, provided this option now. I can put my URL to my Zazzle store 
and then save it. Now, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but there's actually a bug with YouTube right now. If your domain begins with a number, you cannot save any of this stuff. So I can't add anything right now. So when I hit done, see that? See how that red box came up? It's because I have a number or my domain starts with a number. Isn't that crazy? So hopefully they will get that fixed. But fortunately, it does link to my homepage. I just can't add anything else right now. So if your domain doesn't start with a number, you're good to go. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Have fun with this. Um, you know, I didn't like it at first, but there are some things that I'm kind of starting to dig. For example, you can actually create a channel trailer. So for people that have not subscribed yet, you can create a video that only they will be able to see. So there are some new features. Your image is no longer clickable, so that's kind of a bummer. So no point in trying to put links in here because you can't do image mapping anymore. Um, you also don't have a background image. Everybody's background is white now. So there are some things that we did lose, but there's some things that we gained as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.